So let's talk about toe amputations in general. If you look at the sawbone model, all of the toes have three bones in them with the exception of the big toe, which has two. Amputations in the level of the toes can happen, you know, at the joints up here, or they can happen even down here where the toes connect these metatarsal bones. It's gonna depend the reason on why you're actually having the amputation, whether it's from a bone infection or from like an accident or even from something like frostbite. So the short answer is yes, you absolutely can walk if you have a single toe amputation, if you have more than one toe that's amputated, or even if all of the toes are amputated. One of the things that you'll notice though, after you get a toe amputation, is first of all, it's gonna take a couple of weeks for the surgical site to heal. Toes actually help with propulsion, meaning that it helps with push off when we're walking. So when you're missing a toe, you know, the push off is actually a little bit weak. One thing I will say is the big toe is actually responsible for twice the amount of pressure as the other toes. So if you lose your big toe, Yes, you can still walk, but you'll be kind of walking a little bit more foot flat instead of pushing off as much when you walk. You know, you can even run with toe amputations as well, but you'll find that you're taking a little bit more steps. Um, your stride length actually is a little bit decreased. One of the things that happens though with the toe amputations, especially with the big toe amputations, is balance issues. A lot of times our toes, you know, they do provide balance when we're standing and when we're walking. So you might notice that you're a little bit off balance. This is a problem that can be worse in people who are diabetic because a lot of diabetics are already neuropathic, meaning that they're numb. So if they have balance issues after toe amputations, they may need physical therapy to help to start walking again so that you know, they don't sustain any falls or anything like that. Another thing about toe amputations is that they usually require certain foot gear. So when you have all of the toes that are amputated, that's called a transmetatarsal amputation. Even with all of the toes gone, you absolutely can walk, okay? But a lot of times you will need a filler that's in your shoe and you can get a prescription for a shoe and a shoe filler. Usually these are diabetic shoes and inserts from your foot doctor. And then if you'll take it to a medical equipment store and get the shoes and inserts over there. And what that will do is it'll literally act as a filler in the spot that you're missing the toes. And this can also help with walking and also preventing any further injuries. Because the thing is, after you get a toe amputation, like say you got the great toe amputated, what happens is your body ends up putting pressure in other parts of your foot, such as like the bottom of the first metatarsal head. And so what can happen is that because your body has all this compensatory pressure in a different part of your foot, you can actually get calluses and sores and things like that. So shoe gear and inserts are super important after toe amputations to make sure that you know, you redistribute the forces throughout the foot and that this issue doesn't happen where you get like an open sore due to compensatory pain. But in conclusion, you can definitely walk after toe amputation. You can definitely run after toe amputation. Even if the toes in both your feet are amputated, all of them, you should still be able to walk with corrective foot gear. For more information on foot health tips and to see videos like this every day, make sure you subscribe.